Okay, so now we're going to uh, start a s scene from semi-scratch. I had started it already, wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. So what I have is I have Michael 8 wearing some mobster gear. I have his hat falling off as he's running. He's holding a gun. It's the mobster Tommy gun. And I gave him a sheriff's badge so he could be a, so we can have him be a cop instead of a mobster running. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I had set up a um, render scene just to kind of give me an idea of lighting. Uh, his pants are glowing so he, there must be emitter on in that so let's find his pants go over here and look at the surfaces yeah something's got an emissive color so let's just change the whole thing to black here there we go same with the gun yep yeah, it's up for eye ray yep there's something's got color so let's uh make it all black and turn it off okay so there he is he's for the lighting I was wanting something not too bright and the camera's got too much of a angle let's move it around let's see what he looks like right, there you go everything's set for that the hat's got a little dark you can't really tell what it is I have to make it a, I think a lighter texture on the hat just to not make it look like some dark shadow behind his head. All right, so let's go. Oh, let's, I picked his hair. Pick his head here. Find out. Oh, there it is. Mobster hat. Okay, so see what texture he's got. Okay, there's the bump. And the color is, yeah, it's kind of a dark. Could almost put in this light color here. Alright, so let's change, let's change the color of the hat to the hat here. Oh. Hat bump, there we go. Alright, so there we go. It's lit up pretty good. But now we can give it a little bit of color. We kind of want to... kind of want a brown. There we go. Let's make it a little darker. There we go. We can see the shadow a little bit. Bump is really small. So let's up it... just for a large render we can see some of the texture and we could even go maybe even a little lighter on the hat here yep, there we go okay yeah running these woods you know what let's do this real quick let's turn off the nvidia perspective let's zoom out here I highly doubt this is what I'm gonna gonna go with, but all right, let's add a T-Rex. <laughs> Not quite a Cadillacs and dinosaur type, but it's let's see what it looks like. All right, there we go. Let's grab our T-Rex. Let's move them backwards a little bit. There we go. Let's see what see what poses we have. Oh, here we go. There's a good one. <laughs> All right. Let's see what. We okay, we get the standard materials. I'm not going to give it feathers. All right. So let's spin it around a little bit on the y-axis. There we go. Let's 
Move it around a little. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's see what it looks like. Let's adjust the camera here. And right, let's render this out and let's make sure T Rex here is I ray shadered. And let's let it render and see what we have. While that's going, let me check make sure my cards are set up okay had to do an update things were acting slow all right there we go <laughs> he doesn't look like he have enough enough terror on his face i wonder if i have uh let's go back to editor let's see if the ground uh accepted shadows is on Yep, it is. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's... Alright. Not going to use it, but it was... I don't think anybody... If I was going to use it for a cover, I don't think there's any way anybody is... going to have a story that would match this. Yeah, there we go. Foot doesn't look like he's on the ground. Take a look. Yeah, let's, get, let's reverse the bend here a little. There we go. See how that looks. Oop, too much. Darn it. Put it back to zero here. Let's. Should be doing it while it's trying to render. Alright, there we go. See how his foot looks on the ground. I actually should really add some 3D grass through here just to give it a little, uh, looks like it mixed in or, you know, Photoshop brushing some grass here. But we're not going to do that. So, okay, let's get back to uh, getting this done. So let's, I was really thinking of, let me turn this off, this text, turn it back to texture shading. Let's get rid of the T-Rex. All right, so... Thinking kind of older, maybe adding a barn, and then maybe an old car, and then I'll see what I have as far as HDRI backgrounds, kind of like a, get a field or something like that. So I guess let's start with that. Let's go in our light and see what I have. Um, no. Yeah, something like this might, you know. Through the pines. Yeah, that looks kind of open. Let's uh, let's change it to that as the render. Let's see what it looks like. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. We just need to add a barn. Maybe have to rotate it. Find a spot to put the barn. But he looks pretty good. Let's uh, change our angle here. Alright, I wonder, let's, um, let's rotate it around and see what we have going around, going along here. So basically he's on a road. Yeah, not enough open area to add a barn. If I put one in, it'd probably make the trees look too big if I added, say, a barn right here. These would be behind it, and then pushing the barn further away to give it scale, it'd be a little tiny, it'd look like a little toy barn right here. So let's see what else I have as far as, so here's another one, four, this is five. Now let's try this one and see if it gives us a little bit more space. Sometimes you just have to work with what you have. I'm not going to purchase another product. Try to do this on a budget. There we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is a little bit more uh, 
space. Might be able to fit one in there. Might even have to zoom back some. Move the character. Alright, yeah, let's see that. Let's uh, let's move him over here. Bring him forward. Oh. Let's, uh, you know what, let's control Z, put him back where he was. Let's go back to texture shading. I'm going to add the uh, hat to him so the hat will move with him. There we go. So now when I move him, it's all grouped together. There we go. And I got my camera on an angle here, so let's go into parameters. Get the camera, and let's fix that rotation I have. There we go. Just so I'm working on a flat plane. There we go. Alright, let's grab the barn. Uh, let's see. Content. The prop. This farm. There we go. Okay, so let's, uh, here's the barn. With perspective, he's in the barn. Let's uh, zoom out here and focus on the barn. Let's get it back here. Let's spin it. Let's raise it up some. There we go. Uh, what do we have? Oh, there's a silo and a uh, Oh, it's a water pump. Let's put a silo in. Okay, let's grab it. Let's just move it back here. Let's see how they're shaded. Okay, they're only uh, convert them to iRay. All right, there we go. Shader presets, iRay, DAS. There's the base. Let's attach it. All right, so I know it likes to make everything super shiny, so let's reduce the reflectivity, bring up the roughness, and let's see how if there's any bump maps. Okay, there are, so let's, um, we're going to worry about the exterior. So let's see, there's the, it must be interior, so let's go through. All right, here we go. Yep, so these are all of our barn textures here. So let's see what the bump is. Eh, it's only at one, so we're going to raise it up to 10. All right, the ramp, that's the dirt. And we're going to up that also. I don't worry about any of the stalls, but we are going to go into the framing here. Roof edge. Window dividers. We're still got the same bump, so it's using the same material. Nope. That's okay, so here we go. So let's up the bumps again. This exterior is all right, a different texture. Okay, so we can well up. I'm gonna do the displacement, but we're gonna move up the bump here. All right, let's get a close up view of the barn, see what we missed. Oh, the roof. Definitely need uh, shingles need to be visible. So we go there. And that should give us a good start. Oh, okay. It's the vein. Okay. Oh, it's basically just a flat Plane with a uh, op with a cutout. All 
Okay, very good. Okay, there's the base. So this we are going to have a little bit of reflectivity. Bring down the roughness a little bit. Steps here. Yeah, it looks like it's concrete. We're not going to go as high, but we're still going to give it some text. Give it some bump. All right, let's go over to the silo. And we don't see the ladder, the ribs. There's our segments. In the ring. So those are the same. It's kind of a metallic. So we're going to raise the reflectivity up on this also. That doesn't have a bump. That does have a bump. So we're going to increase that. Silo concrete. Definitely needs some bump there. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go back to our camera. And let's see how the barn looks sitting there. Needs a tractor. I got an old tractor here. Maybe we'll change the camera angle a little. Put an old car back here that's on fire. Uh, we don't even see the silo, so it didn't even matter. Oh, it looks like it's just floating there in space. Textures all look good. All right, yeah, it's um, he's got shadow, but a month too far for it to have a shadow. The lighting moved because I moved him. Need to add some lighting to him. And the ground with the because uh, it's basically an orb, you can see how it starts to stretch because it's in view, and you can see it cutting off some of the bushes here while it's going through the uh, ground yep see so it's actually it's flat on the plane and now you can see a shadow going along the edge here onto the onto the ground so let's um let's play with the render a little bit because the sun is directly almost directly above him and because he's bent over running He's all in shadow. So, you know, messing with this multiplier gives strange effects sometimes. I don't want to rotate the dome because that's a perfect spot for the barn. So, so if you do something like that, watch what happens. See? Now if we go bigger it'll it'll stretch it out so it was at 20 so we'll go now nah, we'll go we'll do 40 yep see how it stretched see how it stretched more of it out so let's increase the radius see what we get kind of go up the same yeah not quite the same ratio all right, there we go. So it, it is looking further away, but the ground is still pretty rough. See, now he's in the light again. So really what we need to do is add a ground plane just through here, and then we'll add our own grass texture to it. And then leave the background, even though we lost the road going away. See how it changed it? It just made it further. I mean, it's really... Still, still don't see that silo. So let's let's do that. Let's lower this back down to the ground because we got that edge. There we go. Just, just slightly. All right, there we go. So we lost that shadow edge along here. All right. So let's go out of here. And go back to texture shading 
we'll add the ground so the easiest way is so we're basically just going to keep it on the on the grid line that's visible so we're, we're just going to create a plane we're going to change it to uh, I don't know if it's uh, 15 meters let's see what happens how big it is all right so let's grab our ground plane here let's move it back and scale it up there we go let's send it back a little bit further there we go and then what we're going to do is we're just going to scale it in the z direction there we go alright looks good so we're going to go to the perspective just so we can see the plane alright let's add our grass texture to it so the plane let's go to shaders here's some ground shaders okay so let's take a look at some grass here We don't want, yeah, there we go. A little bit of dirt. We don't want it too uh, perfect. All right, so we converted it. It's it's really big. Let me zoom in on. I'll show you. Look at it. That's a monster size rocks and pebbles. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the scale of it. So we're going to let's do four. Let's tile it. There we go. That looks a lot better. Let's, let's let's tile it up to five, though. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. All right, looks good. All right, so let's uh, we need some three-dimensional grass. So let's uh, find some grass. Okay, that's flat plain. Uh, tall grass. Just tufts. Put any of that? So okay, let's um, yeah. There's some. Uh, let's add that. Some short. There it is back there. So let's uh, bring it up here so we can see it. Bring it down. Okay, very good. So let's instance it. Oh, still looking for grass. Oh, I found a lot more. Yeah, we can add some of that later. So, okay. Let's um, go to scripts and get the instancing. And some ultra scatter. So we'll do that. Alright, so we got the grass. Our target's going to be the plane. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna bump it up to a lot. All right, so let's vary the y-axis just so it doesn't look uniform going across. Scaling, I'm gonna leave alone for now. I'm not gonna worry about distribution. So let's scatter it. There we go. It's moving slowly but surely. All right, well, that didn't quite work out. I mean, for 10 minutes, it's got it all spread out all over. Uh, we can go to our camera view and see how they actually show up in there. It may not have been worth the time. Or I would have had to do more instances or do an instance of the instance. But, yeah, let's take a look. Let's get this saved. This. Keep forgetting uh, save all the time. All right, there we go. So let's okay. Yeah, the grasses. I mean, you can see them. They're not really. I mean, it worked really good with the edge of the grass or the edge of the uh, background. Turned out good. The ground. I mean, you can see some grass. So I'm gonna leave it. It's it's already there. It's not gonna hurt anything. 
All right, so we're going to add the car. Well, maybe we'll add it right over here. And we still got to add the tractor. So let's go back to texture shading. All right, and I had a nice Dreamlight car. So let me, uh, let's find it here. Hopefully I have it in vehicles. Dreamlight, yep, here it is, 39 coupe. All right, let's get that put in. Um, don't want it on block, so let's just add the coupe. We can always move anything we don't need. Okay, we're going to go to perspective here. Let's zoom out. So we can take a look at it. Oh, grab the wrong thing here. All right, where's... There we go. So let's grab that. Put it over here. Let's give it a... Little spin so we can play with the wheels, we can turn them. So let's see what parameters if, if he has any for the vehicle itself. All right, here we go. So we're going to wheels, let's turn them this way. Don't want neons. Antenna's fine, so let's add a material to it and see what we got. Um, let's give it some old paint. Let's give it the tan. There we go. And let's see if it's uh, okay. It's I ray. So let's take a look here. Everything looks good. I don't know if the door's open on this or not doesn't appear so no but the solid body let's all right looks good go back to our camera all right, let's go back to vehicles well that's an older item so let's just type in tractor searching I'll go in the let's go into my props I don't think they'd have it under machinery. Not categorized. Let's double check here. I think we could almost switch the car out to the Chevy. No, nope, it's not there. Okay, let's take a look through my old pickup truck. I guess we could use that. Yeah, I don't see it. So let's, let's put the pickup in. Let's rotate it around. Put it over here. Let's make sure it's sitting on the ground. Okay. I think I have other textures for it. A little bit too much in the ground. Should just use the drop to ground, but all right, there we go. So let's. Um, tractor Jesus right here all right let's let's switch them out that OR I spelled it ER darn it Put it about right here. Let's drop it down. Oh, grab, the, grab the wheel there. All right. I don't know if I have any. If there's any other materials for it, let's check poses. Uh, naming. Open it all up. Okay. So we got everything highlighted. Make sure everything's in here. All right, we're gonna make it eye ray. Okay, it's gonna have reflectivity on most of it, except for the for the rubber, plastic. So we're gonna turn down reflectivity on that. All 
All right, looks pretty good. So let's go back to our grass. Let's see how it looks in the cam in the camera view. All right. Let's go back to perspective. Let's search for grass again. Add some of that tall. We'll, maybe we'll put the tractor in the weeds. We'll zoom out. Yep, there they are. Actually quite big, so let's grab the top one. I want X and Y. Actually I want X and Z here. Okay, let's zoom in. It's pretty tall grass, so let's Put in the front wheel there. Right the other one. These got multiple, so truthfully I could move quite a few around. Get some over here. Around it, just for... Depth. I'm going to do the other one too. Grab some and put it in behind. It's pretty dense. You won't even notice it missing. Alright, so let's grab all the grass and make it at eye rate also. See how we lost the bump from 100, so we're gonna. I don't think it's gonna be noticeable from the distance, but we'll raise it up. Let's get get rid of some of the reflectivity. There's everything there. Let's take a look here. We got ground. I don't want any of that. I don't know if I have any plant shaders. I don't. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Oh, that's all right. We'll just have to leave it. Want to probably won't notice the transparencies anyways. So let's go back to the camera default and then see what we ended up with here. Oh, save again. All right, she's so a lot more memory consumption here, geometry wise. All right, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the second grass is up off the ground. I must have moved the wrong uh, in the wrong direction. Car looks good sitting there. Probably have to put some grass in through here just to give it some in front of his foot. So just give it, make it look like there's some depth to the grass, some substance. Alright. Okay, so we gotta fix the grass there. Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's uh that oh it's grass here, so let's bring it down to the ground. There we go. Alright, so now the car even though the door, I wanted to have maybe the door open like he got out of it really fast, but since the door don't open, just going to have to um, do it with the door closed. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a another primitive. We're going to uh, make it a sphere, fairly small, a couple feet. All right, so let's find it here. So that's where everything's centered is that spot there. We're going to move it inside the vehicle. So 
so it looks like it's on fire and then we'll just add flames and Photoshop coming out some flames and some smoke all right let's make this a uh, light emitter and there we go make sure we got it there we go so we want it hot we want it bright temperature we're gonna make it uh, kind of in here yellowish orangish color luminance 5000 we're gonna crank it up here to kilometers let's get it down in the car below line we don't want to see it in the render so we're going to drop it down some we're going to go back to camera and we're going to run we're going to run the uh iray again I'm make sure the inside is well lit all right that's pretty pretty well lit up inside all right it's looking good so what we're going to do let's just zoom back a little bit down here like this all right there we go let's go into our render settings here we're gonna turn off the ground shadows because I don't make sure none of it is poking through the ground plane we added it sure was okay here we go actually look better with it only for back here where the light and see how it's kind of uh we're getting this dark edge here and what we could do let me grab my ground plane ah, i won't work because it's uh darn it i got it tiled i was going to add a um an alpha transparency where it fades out the ending here but that won't work because I've got it tiled and I'll have a bunch of cir bunch of squares that are faded out. So okay, we're gonna have to adjust the uh, the ground now. And really, I think one way is to get some light back here and brighten up the edge of the plane. Let's find it here. All right. So let's take a look and see what uh, what we can do with it. Let's take a look at our texture. All right, so let's lighten up. You know, they, keep, they got it set at a gray. Brighten up the grass. Let's see if that does anything to us or if it just makes it glow. We don't want that. Yeah, we're still getting the light. So the so the sun's coming in kind of down in this direction here. So what we're going to have to do is, let's turn this to texture shading. Let's grab a distant light sun, just so we know what it is. So let's go into the light. Let's flip it this way. So it's zoomed down on it. All right, so let's go to our camera. All right, so the light's coming the same direction. And while I'm in here, this Indian grass is too light, so I'm going to do the opposite of what I just did with the with the plane, and I'm going to darken it up some. Make sure we grab everything. And we're going to drop it down. And then while I'm in here, I'm going to grab my grass. by his feet here all right so let's render it out and see if we just didn't get that line to go away I mean Photoshop we could use a brush and blend it in and if we could render it just like this with no background and then render the background and then we could uh, 
merge them in so it looks seamless. But let's see what we got this way. Because I still want to add another spotlight coming down over the car, aiming down with a yellow light just so the top of the car is lit up. So when flames going outside around the windows, it's going to light up the top of the car, not just the inside. Now, let me still get in that uh, fallout shadow. Grass is too green, so let's take a look at this light here. So it's a good sun temperature. Not much lumens for a sun. Alright, the double shadows so the so the scene's lighting's coming down. My distant light is over is creating that light there. Yeah, even adjusting it is not doing anything. I could pretty much just get rid of it. I'm going to turn down the intensity of the environment. And those are too green now. So let's adjust that. Indian grass. And another way to do it. Hmm. Well, we're going to leave it like this for now. And probably what I could do is add some more grass going through here and make and keep it bright like it was previously and then a ground texture is let's see if I have another let's go to our plane here I got an idea no we kind of wanted something dirty grass well, let's don't, definitely don't want clover. We don't want all dirt. Dry grass. Let's give it a go. See, it even gives it a... The browner gives it a, that dark edge, so we don't really want that. So we're going to tile it while it's running, because it's... We know it's going to be too large. The ground looks much better. What we're gonna do we need we need more grass through here let's redo my search we're gonna do some tall we're gonna do a little bit taller we're gonna do a couple more actually let's see if this grass was look this oh this is the tree swing okay meadow grass tiles flat there we go could have done this all along jeez Let's turn this off. Get rid of uh, the scattering and the grass altogether. And let's switch over to something sparse. There we go. No, because I added. Uh, a light now it doesn't show up so let's turn this on just so we can see the scene there we go all right there we go looks pretty good let's see, make sure it's on the surface here all right I'm going to grab him. Or the plane, but I want to turn it back on. There we go. Alright, very good. I'm just going to duplicate it. How many do we need? Probably just, uh, probably just get away with two more instances of it. Bring your 
about right here. And let's bring it right here. All right, so it goes off. So let's, let's go back in here and let's see what I what else I have for. Oh, that's, what else do I have of his? I got some bushes and a couple of those. Zoom out. Let's grab them. Put it right, break up this background here. Scale this up. Let's scale it down a little bit. Bring it down into the ground. There we go. Oh, darn it, I moved my camera. There we go. The other one, let's move it behind the car over here. All right, got our grasses. Zoom out and reposition here because I use my camera to move around instead of the, the perspective camera. There we go. All right, so now we got to iray everything here. Yeah, I might even have some of the stuff I've been creating to iray and saving it. Let's see if I did anything with this. I've been naming them. I've been putting them in a legacy set here. Okay, so here's some of the stuff I have been converting. Nope, I don't have any him, but I think there is a separate. No, oh, good. There is some IRA, so let's at least get the bushes done. All right, let's go to the grass. Oh, I do have some IRA. Okay, very good. this one here there we go change it all to IRA even has some decent ground shaders let's take a look here and it's all dirt I don't have an can't really tell well, let's see how it renders let's turn that off let's save again All right, there we go. All right, so it's um, looks pretty good with the grass. Bushes really don't do much, so let's get them in a position where they do. All right, let's put it right there. Then the other one we can move. It breaks it up some, so we can move it over a little. Put half it off screen here so it doesn't look like it's filling the hole, but it's just part of the background and part of it got caught in the image. Yeah, I'm still going to have to Photoshop, merge these lines right here. It's getting a lot better, but you can still see this dark edge from the light coming down. And I think it has to do with me scaling it. All right, so we're going to add another light. This is just the spotlight. Okay, there it is. So let's let's find our coop. <laughs> There we go. So we're going to come up just like that. 
and we're going to give it off again another yellowish reddish hue here an orange we're going to drop the intensity there we go 